I'd like to check in, please. Oh my God, where did you come from? Oh, and are the pillows feather or foam? Yes. Sorry, which one? I don't care. I'm sorry? I don't know. I was just asking. And I'm very much looking forward to the moment when that stops. Well. Enjoy your stay. Hey, no cutting. Excuse me, this is my store. Who are you? I'm Darlene's cousin. Who are you? My God. Oh, David. Could be worse. You guys could be a total power failure. Mmm, eat glass. Where are you two from? You know, I've been wondering that myself. I'm from London. I was one of two identical twins. Tragically, I was snatched from my crib at birth by Russian mobsters. Mm -hmm. They looked at... John, I had a towel, and now it's disappeared. There's a towel on the back of the door. No, that one has dirt on it. That's not dirt. I used it to kill a bug. <laughs> or perhaps we might have to take our business to a dealership that sells brand new cars. As you can see, we can't even afford our meds right now. Well, that's not what we paid for it. Well, what did you pay for it? 6,000 quid, love. Oh, God. Thank you, Moira. With Alexis, you could have done a better job looking out for her. Ah! I did. The knock-knock is him taking the note. Well, you might want to invest in a lock-lock, then. Knock-knock! Mm. They've stripped the playhouse of my name? Who is Lucy Albion? You know, honey, a little pampering might not be a bad idea. Could alleviate some of that uh, weight you're carrying around. So now I'm fat and stressed. What? My bag! It's gone! What bag? My brown bag! What brown bag? You had a room full of brown bags back home. Which brown bag? Oh, the crocodile bag, the one my mother gave me! Well, it's in the closet next to my briefcase. That's an ostrich bag. <laughs> Go find a towel now, please, or I will strip out of this robe and I will air dry in the street! Okay, well, I'm just gonna go home. No, Sorry. no, no, I didn't say I didn't want them. Thank you. Oh, yay, David! Yay! Ouch, David. Ouch, David. Dad! Dad's dad. Oh, you're such a David. <gasps> Ken? just when I thought it was impossible to find a 30-something named Ken. <laughs> oh, I think he looked younger than 30. Alexis? We all have to go, David, unless you have some special excuse. It's my birthday. <laughs> okay, good. Speaking of which, David, I'm gonna need you to come and look at the apartment with me. Okay, why would I do that? Anyway, it was really cool of you to do it, is what I'm saying, and not just because um, you get to have a little sleepover because of it. <laughs> <laughs> so to say, th he'll be fine. If he gets cranky, give him some applesauce. Those are $10 a jar. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> no, I will not accept that. For what it's worth, I am having a great time. You're like a tsetse fly? Where's your cell phone boyfriend? On my cell phone. Okay. Landed oh, on. Ted, that's not okay. Hey, come here, big guy. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> or Patrick and me. We're done with you. I have a feeling if you want peonies, Moira, you're gonna have to plant them yourself. <laughs> These are dark times, John. Not that dark. Sadly, and most of the time, we have no interest in what's going on with you. We have no idea what's because she means no idea. <clears throat> You're wearing a wedding dress to my wedding. This is not a wedding dress. It's a white floor length gown. It's very different. Did it come with a veil? No, it came with a headdress. Uh what? 